Okay, so we're going with uh, Robert Kiyosaki. We're into the next millennial money lesson or money and millennial lesson. And here with Alexandra Gonzalez and Robert Kiyosaki. And I think this is what our school should teach you. Instead of go to school, get a job, and get out of, and get out of debt. Are you nuts? And save money. Are you nuts? It's crazy. And pay your taxes. Are you nuts? It's crazy because the rich don't pay taxes or they pay less taxes. So this is part of what you need to decide now because if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll keep paying more taxes. Exactly. You'll make more money and pay more taxes. Not smart. So anyway, so this is a continuation of why the rich don't work for money, but what do they work for? And And this is not according to me. <laughs> this is according to the government and the tax department. So the tax department, which every country has taxes, determine, they want to know what kind of income do you work for. So when you say to someone your age or a child to the parent, parent to the child, they say, go to school, get a job, they're working for this type of income. Earned income, as you can see from this diagram here, as you can see from this diagram here, this is earned income here. And the first thing you pay is the highest taxes because you worked for money. Yes. The government doesn't want you working for money. Yeah. They punish you for that. They want you to hire employees or invest. Okay, so earned income is what they work for. The second, is portfolio income, it's also called capital gains. So if I buy a house for, let's say, 100,000, I sell it for 200,000, 100,000 is capital gains. If I buy a stock for $10 and sell it for 20, the $10 are the capital gains. This is the second highest tax. So the tax breaks that President Trump is working on today is primarily for these guys here. So they're doctors, lawyers, highly educated people, and they have stocks. Most of these guys don't have stocks of the working class. They have a 401k, but they don't get the break. But these guys, if you're active in stocks and that kind of stuff, or flipping houses, you get a break. But what the really rich work for is passive income. And passive income For me, I have a business. Whether I work or not, money comes in. And you've seen me, I'm not here, am I? No, never. <laughs> never. I've earned the right not to be here. Real estate, I get million, I have million. Every year, my wife and I, Kim, we add more real estate. Also, we have commodity income from oil wells and things like this. Even the stock price of oil doesn't go up and down and all this, we still get this. But this is another type of income. This here, I'll, I'll get into, is called phantom income. It's taxes I don't pay, so it's a little bit beyond most people's minds. But let's say my tax bill is $100,000. By doing what the government wants here, the government may give me a $50,000 tax break. That means 50000 in taxes I don't have to pay. Wow. So the $50,000, it didn't go to the government, it went back up here. So that's what financial education does. It teaches you about the financial statement, which is not taught in school. Again, they teach you FICO scores, which is really FIDO scores. Exactly. <laughs> was you told, little Dougie? Exactly. Okay. And then for you at your age now, you want to know this. This is what they're teaching you to work for now. Ironically, when you save money and you have a 401k, this is the kind of income. So savings and 401ks are taxed the highest types of income. To me, it's stupid, but if you don't know any better, it's the saving money in what do you call that 401ks is good. In, this, in Canada, it's called RRSP. In Australia, it calls a superannuation. But this is what most people have because they went to school, they got a job. 
And then this is what the rich really have. It's passive. And it's because I'm an active investor. I don't buy this because this is passive investors. I am active and I'm professional in, in all of these areas. So I work for passive income, which means I'm not here. <laughs> the check comes in, the checks come in. Every year, and you've seen Kim and I, and your mother now, she's working on here. And so your mother's income keeps going up, your father's income keeps going up, and they don't have a job. That's what they did, right? Yes. Yeah. So any comments on this? So like you said, our entire life we're taught to work for earned income as opposed to passive income and portfolio in income. And we're never offered those classes in the university. But thanks to the financial education that I received with you and going to seminars and working at this company, I was able to learn about those types of income and what I want to do with my career and my life. Correct. You know, investing in real estate, things like that. You have to take outside of school classes yes. for that. And so I think it's incredible because that is where you make majority of your money. Well, if you didn't go to school. Exactly. I do recommend taking these classes yes. first because you can get hammered really oh, easy. Oh no, of course. Yeah. It's incredible that we have to go to outside sources instead of inside sources of the, in the university to learn about these things, to learn about portfolio income, passive income. And be a non-professional exactly. investor. And then they, all they have to do is worry about going to school, getting their pay, going to um, work, getting their paycheck. But at the same time, it's very risky because you have no control over your life. None. 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 Mm -hmm. And the worst thing about it too is that most people who are A students, they think they can just go out and do this one. It's possible, but it's like trying to be a, a pro golfer. You know, you don't take one class and one lesson and say, okay, I'm gonna take on you know, the professionals. Mm -hmm. It's years of work to get here. And financial education is practiced, study, lessons, being a student, you know. So I spent a lot of time here, a lot of time. That was Rich Dad. You know, if you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad in there, it talks about Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. Yeah. And you know, people asked Ray Kroc, I said, what business is McDonald's? I mean, he asked the class, this is the University of Texas class, MBA program. I said, what, class, what business is McDonald's in? And everybody said, hamburgers. And he says, no, McDonald's is a real estate company. Exactly. And the reason for that is because they get passive income, they use debt, they pay no taxes. That's why McDonald's is a big company, whereas what most people do is they start, you know, mom and pop hamburger stand and they work really hard and pay earned income. So I think it's a lot of years of hard work and many, many mistakes. And you also have to learn to lose the fear of making mistakes and of losing money. Well, it's part of the process. Yeah. You know, only, it's, it's only the academic types like my poor dad. They think if they memorize the right answer, that's all they need. You know, it's like the right answer for a golfer is hit the ball straight. Keep it on, in the fairway, putt in one. Okay, that's the right answer. Trouble is, he can't do it. Exactly. And in the real world, is what you can what can you do? Deeds, not words. And our academic types who are running our government are just talk. They have no real world experience, mm -hmm. and that is what's costing us the most money. We have A students running our government and our Federal Reserve Bank. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So you understand now the rich don't work for money, but they work for different types of income. Yes. And do you understand the government wants us to do this? Yeah. That's why they give us tax breaks. Before we go on to the next lesson for millennial money, my job was just to shake your head and stir, not give you answers. What's going through your head now? What are you thinking? I know I'm not going to get there tomorrow, but I know I have to make baby steps in order to be able to get financially educated and become where I want to be, where I don't rely on a paycheck anymore. It depends if you, your parents gave you a working class DNA. You gotta work hard for money. And that's one of the biggest traps there is. You wanna work for the right type of income, but not for money. 